Hello friends, welcome to Physics Pathfinder. In this video, let us discuss about change of phase and heating curve of ice and water. The process of change from one state to another at a constant temperature is called change of phase. Now, let us consider this. We all know that a solid when heated changes to liquid and a liquid when heated changes to gas. Now, the process wherein a substance changes from solid state to liquid state is called melting or fusion. The process wherein a liquid changes to gas is called vaporization. Now, all these things can be written like this. Solid, liquid, gas, solid on melting, changes to liquid, liquid, and vaporization, changes to gas. Apart from this, a gas can be converted to liquid and a liquid can, can be converted to solid. Now, in these two process where solid changes to liquid and liquid changes to gas, heat energy is absorbed. Whereas, if you take a gas changing to liquid or a liquid changing to solid, here, heat energy is liberated. Now, here in this statement only it can be written, a gas on con condensation changes to liquid and a liquid on freezing changes to solid. Now, you have to remember one thing. The process wherein a solid converts to liquid is called melting. This process is called melting and melting takes place at a fixed temperature. And this fixed temperature is called melting point. So please note the difference in melting and melting point. Melting is a process whereas melting point is a temperature. Similarly, the process wherein a liquid changes to gas is called vaporization and vaporization takes place at a certain temperature that fixed temperature is called vaporization point now let us take this one solid getting converted to liquid this process is called melting but the reverse process wherein a liquid gets converted to solid is called freezing or solidification a liquid getting converted to solid is called freezing or solidification. And the temperature at which a liquid gets converted to solid is called freezing point or solidification point. Now, for pure substances, the melting point and freezing point are identical.
now let us study about heating curve of ice and heating curve of water i have a temperature time graph here if you observe th this graph i have taken temperature on y axis and time on x axis and the graph is a b c now here a substance that is a solid the example here is ice ice is heated for certain time and we know that ice melts at 0 degree celsius this is the melting point of ice so if you observe this graph uh, ice starts melting up to certain time the temperature remains constant here now from this point to this point that is the part a b in the graph represents melting of ice and you can note that as long as ice melts the temperature remains at 0 degree celsius only so you have to remember that whenever change of state takes place whenever change of state takes place the temperature remains constant so here also the temperature remains at 0 degree celsius only up to certain time so here what is happening uh, ice will be getting converted to water and uh, this is called uh, melting so ab represents melting next the part bc part bc represents rise in temperature of water so you can observe here from this point b there is rise in temperature and the temperature is uh, rising up to 30 degrees celsius so uh, here in this graph you can mention this as water so part a b in the graph represents melting of ice whereas part b c represents water always remember whenever change of state takes place the temperature remains constant so as long as ice melts the temperature is remaining constant only then there will be rise in temperature of water this is the heating curve of ice during melting if you observe this graph again one more graph i have temperature time graph for heating curve for water here i have taken water and uh, the initial temperature of water is 20 degree celsius so water initially is at 20 degree celsius now when we start heating water at 20 degree celsius in the beginning what happens there will be gradual rise in the temperature that is shown by the part a b in the graph So water at 20 degree Celsius when heated, first there will be rise in temperature. Up to what temperature uh, the water reaches, the rise in temperature will be up to 100 degree Celsius. We know that at 100 degree Celsius water starts boiling. So when the temperature reaches to 100 degree Celsius, water starts boiling. And this part of the graph, part BC, if you observe, there is a change in the time, but the temperature is remaining constant. So, part AB represents rise in temperature of water. Part BC represents boiling. and uh, this is called change of state as i have already told there is change of state taking place water will be converted into steam at 100 degree celsius and the temperature will be constant though the time will be changing the temperature remains constant 
so this is the heating curve for water so if you observe these two graphs what is the conclusion here if you take the heating curve of ice as long as there is change of state the temperature remains constant so when ice melts and it will be converted into water the temperature remains constant here again when water starts boiling water will be converted into steam but the temperature remains constant so from these two graphs we can infer that whenever there is change of state taking place the temperature remains constant even though heat energy is absorbed by the substance so remember during change of state the temperature remains constant but heat energy will be energy will be absorbed this is about heating curve of ice and water thank you the next video we shall consider some questions based on heating curve if you like this video please like share and subscribe for offline classes please contact the number given in the description